our heroes face the third and last of Abisha's trials this month on d d Minus. So, reminders about what happened last time. You are at Snedrick's old school in Snedrick's hometown of Athiana. Damn right we are. Snedrick's old flame, Holly Crinkles, is now the headmistress of the school. She's made lots of positive changes to it. She gave you a tour where she showed you her refrigerator. She showed you Animal Crossing Island. She showed you liquid armor that she'd created. All sorts of stuff. You did the first and second trials, which you passed with flying colors. And you are about to do the third and final trial. Oh, yeah. We just beat up Bane by just taking his mask off. and <laughs> You beat <laughs> up Bane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beat up Bane. And I, I made some bad arguments against Javelins. <laughs> <laughs> I, in, my, in my defense, and I would like to say this now, this is very worth our podcast time. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand what you wanted to do completely. Really? I am aware that javelins are easier to throw than a gas than mask. Than most other objects. They're a throwing thing. In spite of the fact that I am very vehement that a gas mask is easier to throw than a javelin on recorded audio that our audience is now pretty <laughs> to. But in my heart, where Jesus is, that is where I knew about javelins. All right. Yeah, you really saved it at the end. Well done. Well, good yeah, well addition done. there at the end. Yeah. How's that Magno Nectar treating you? I, delete and move. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like Tucker Carlson. It's fine. Exactly, yeah. My, my character, no reasonable person could believe that I thought you can't throw javelins. All right. When you arrive at your third and final trial the next morning, the Great Hall is literally packed to the rafters. Magical benches and gravity-defying charms have been placed so that people can watch while hanging upside down from the ceiling and perched on the walls. The refrigerator that Holly showed you on your first day here has been moved to the back of the room so that gnomes can sit on and inside it in coats and hats to watch the show from there as well. In the front row are Snedrick's parents, looking a lot more proud to be there, and on the floor where the staff is, a tired, haggard, and desperate-looking Abish Slutsky Looks like he hasn't gotten much sleep since last night. Will you remind us what the refrigerator does? It's a refrigerator. It's a refrigerator. You're just not saying the full word. Refrigerates. Yeah. It's got, got it. uh, runes of cold all around it. Got it. What do Snedrick's parents think about the people hanging from the ceiling? Dad seems to be ignoring them. Mom thinks they're neat. <laughs> okay, so it's a refrigerator with like a glass, like a really big one with like a glass front that people are inside and watching. No, from the door is open right now. All right, well, some dad is going to get mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Snedrick's dad is looking at. He's just angrily <laughs> staring daggers at the open door of the refrigerator. So in the center of the room where the archway was for your first two trials is something large and flat covered with a dark black sheet. The high priestess rises to her feet and addresses the hall. Adventurers, today is the day of your third and final trial. Pass this and your request for the Locket of Fabrication will be granted. Good luck. And there's a long pause while all eyes in the room turn towards Abish, who is furiously going through his notes. Finally, a guard sitting next to him sort of elbows him in the side, and he says, right, right, um, yeah. And then he pulls the sheet off the object in the middle of the room to reveal a giant mirror. Everybody, make a wisdom saving throw for me. All right, I just, I want to point out that if you wanted to give us a really devastating riddle and fuck us up with this third one, you could have just asked us to, to tell you what it was we were here to get. <laughs> <laughs> Balls. <The> diadem <laughs> of Ravenclaw. Name any of the objects you've gathered so <laughs> <Yeah>. far. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a seven. Fifteen wisdom saving. Okay. Six. Six, all right. I rolled an eight. 
and an eight. Okay. You stare into the mirror. Damn your own it. Reflections. <laughs> <laughs> I was super wise about this. I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to stare into the mirror no matter what. Don't worry. Your, your save will not go unnoticed. <laughs> you stare into the mirror at your own reflections until slowly you notice something unnerving. Your reflections aren't imitating you anymore. Bridget, you notice first. You scratch your ear, but the Bridget in the mirror stays still. Claw, you, you notice that and wave a hand, but the claw in the mirror just stands there staring at you. And then he moves. He steps towards you out of the mirror. I punch him. I punch him. I punch him. Okay. <laughs> All of your reflections do. <laughs> Sorry, but did the bird just punch the mirror before anything else happened? Yeah, and I haven't rolled. I feel like I should be rolling. Oh, you will definitely get a surprise round. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and Abish says, for your final trial, you will face who I have judged to be your greatest enemy, yourselves. Everybody, roll initiative for me. All right, but we're going to win one way or the other. It doesn't make any fucking sense. (laughs) 17. 17. Oh, 22. So we should probably try and pair up so that we're fighting like us. But like the one that we have a a weakness advantage over somebody. Oh, shit. Yeah. So we should gang up on one of us. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah. Dave. We should gang up on Dave. (laughs) No, I meant one of the dark versions. <laughs> but we could confuse the dark versions by ganging up on Dave. <laughs> They're all just helping you beat the shit out of Dave. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. To be fair, I thought this would go better. Seven on one. Seven on one, guys. Come on. <laughs> We're going to have to avoid saying things like everybody gang up on Dark Dave. It just seems like <laughs> there's going to be a lot of problematic stuff that's going to happen today. <laughs> why couldn't it just be evil, not dark? Yep. Yeah. Why has it got to be dark? Because for some of us, those two things aren't interchangeable, <laughs> Anna. Maybe I'm taking it back. Good RuPaul reference, though. Thank you. Not you. Wow. Oh. Anna. Everybody, what'd you roll for initiative? I rolled a two plus four. Ooh. Yeah. My, my initiative roll was 22. Dave okay, rolled so, a 14. But I did punch before we rolled initiative. Yeah, I will give you a okay. surprise round. Okay. I promise. Good. Okay. Because I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. Nobody hit dark Bridget, evil Bridget with... <laughs> I'm changing it to evil. I'm sorry. I just don't... That doesn't feel good. Mm-hmm. Nobody hit evil Bridget with an attack. With what? <laughs> Not with an attack. <laughs> what else would we hit her with? <laughs> Well, we can roast her still. Oh, no, you verbally. Could do, <laughs> you could you could do something like uh something that she'll have to uh, How does that How does Wrath of Storm work? Are you secretly hiding some fact about you and your evil character? Because <laughs> no, that's what it it's sounds not like. A, it's not a secret. Are you, you holding a bomb? Just, you have to tell you us. You have to tell us. <laughs> it's like being a cop. Kinda. Show us your mustache. <laughs> well done. It's well right done. Here. Well uh, done, Eli. I mean, I was sitting there going, like, I can't get in on this joke. But okay, yeah. <laughs> Mustache, you can. You can. Yep. Well, I don't know. I, I suppose I suppose even roles that aren't, like, attack roles. Can you like, just tell us why? Wrath of Storm. I have Wrath of Storm. So if anybody hits me with an attack, they take a big old... It's like a counterattack. Big old amount of damage. Okay, let's all list uh, the crazy stuff we have that counters. <laughs> oh, wait, who's got really good dexterity? Because you'll just need to do a dexterity save and throw. I do. There, you take me. Claw, before we officially start the fight, you did leap out mid-sentence to punch <laughs> yourself. So I'm going to give you a surprise round. Anish basically says, I've chosen for you punch. <laughs> punch. punch. Yeah. I love that. No, it was literally like we walked up to mirrors and then I punched the mirror and then he started talking. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're just a white guy. There's... <laughs> okay, so roll a, a hit die. Whatever you want to do, you get an extra round of combat all to yourself. You can do whatever you want. Take a dash action, dodge action. I'll do an unarmed strike and a bonus unarmed strike. Excellent. On? On on my dark one. I feel like that's the only one that I could reach with a Yeah, shortly, yeah. Yeah. Do it. All right. I got a 12 plus six. That'll do it. 
And a four plus six. Uh, that will not. So roll that damage for me. Four plus four. All right. Eight damage. You run up and you karate punch yourself right in the face. And your bad avatar just sort of looks down. There's a little bit of silver that runs out of its bird nose, otherwise known as a beak. Wipes it away all <laughs> badassly and looks menacingly at you. We <laughs> should also keep track of how much damage we're doing because we know the hit points right. for all of them. Well, so, so, okay, so I think one of the things that we're going to want to know going into this is who has the fewest hit points. So that's who we should gang up on, right? I think it's me. Yeah, I would say it's you, yeah. right? I have 26. I'm a 31. I'm yeah, ditto. 43. Fucking Jesus. hell. Jesus. And what is Claw? I'm, tank. I'm 31 as well. But but you just got hit for how many? I got hit for eight. So you're below me at this point. We should gang up on Claw. Yeah. To mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Snedrick, you are up first. All right. I am going to already have looked and seen what I was going to do, because why would I wait until now? That'd <laughs> be such an <laughs> asshole hey, move. Eli, can we like, are we allowed to be like, hey, do this. Hey, don't do this. To each other? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. yeah. game all he, you like. He, he can't stop us. He can't, he's got to let us do that. <laughs> yeah. It'd be weird if I was like, no, only character talking. All right. So, like, am, am I in a position where I could get more than one of the dark versions of us lined up? So, here's the thing. You are standing, staring at a mirror. They are an exact mirror to that. So, I assume you're all standing in a line facing the mirror. Mm -hmm. They are now standing in a horizontal line facing you. So, straight on, you couldn't get them. But if you move to the side, you could get all of them. Right. So, I'm going to do that. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I was on the edge. We all, we all had decided that I was on the edge anyway. We had said earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Said that we probably times. walked when we walked in that I would be the you left said side you were of the edging. phalanx. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, but yeah, so I'm going to move into that direction and I'm going to throw Agonazer Scorcher, which is a line of flame 30 feet long and five feet wide. And each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d8 damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. All right. Nice. Yeah. You roll those 3d8. I will roll everybody's dexterity saving throws. Um, God damn it. I keep rolling bad shit. You're distracting me. None of these rolls count. <laughs> Altogether, I got 11. Nice. So five and a half points of damage. Nice. They all dive out of the way in perfect unison. Bullshit. They all dive I backwards. Don't, I don't... Where's the game log? I don't, I'm, not buying it. I'm not buying it. Bad guys don't use the game log. Will they take six damage? Yeah. Not five? Okay. They take six damage. Yeah. Okay. So cool. going to give out that damage. Second... All right, so both Snedrick, Dark Dangle, and Dark Claw are significantly lower, should be kind of by our, our first targets, I think. Yeah, I'm at, my Dark Guy's at 17. Evil Guy's at 17. All right, Dark Bridget is up next. Ooh. She is going to run up to you, Snedrick. What order are we in? So we know Snedrick's at the end. What order are the rest of us in? Alphabetical. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Autobiographical. <laughs> so that'd be Bridget, Claw, Dave. I never realized that we had a BCD yeah. going on until just now. But yeah, that would be. So, so would she be, goes from one end to the other end? No, no, no. She'd be right beside me. So it'd be Snedrick, Bridget, Claw, Dave. Everybody else is alphabetical after me. Oh, I'm, you're I'm on, oh, okay. I'm on the I left. Thought, and, fun fact, that's actually how I pictured it in my brain. See? Well, but if it's alphabetical, then you're at the other end, right? No, Why don't we just make it alphabetical? <laughs> no, no, because I it's me and then alphabetical. Alphabet right, but I go thought from you left just, to right. No, I thought you were saying it's just alphabetical, not you and then alphabetical. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about it. But we're looking at a mirror, so the alphabet's reversed. <laughs> so what does Bridget do? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do this. Now Now that I've had to line them up differently <laughs> and alphabetically. <laughs> oh, my it's, God. Guys, everybody shuffle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We all move around. <laughs> Eli like killed the, himself halfway the through the session, so we technically win. All right, so if I switch place with a Dormouse and you switch place with a Hatter. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, she runs over to you, Snedrick, and she is going to whomp you with her Warhammer. That will be a 18. And, and I'm supposed to tell you something there, probably. 
An armor that class hit, that has hits your armor class. class. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She will do nine points of damage. I feel like, you know, we're doing it so that you can see it. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want a dungeon master who rolls in front of the screen. I promise you, you do not want the moment where I roll the killing blow and I'm just like, well, there's the 11. <laughs> we'll lie for Maybe you, you can make if you it. help. Yeah, right. No, it's, uh... <laughs> it's better that you not know. It's better that you not know. All right, so nine damage to Snedrick, and then she turns and her mouth moves, but instead of words, it's like the sound of breaking glass, and Mirror Claw's beak, which was bleeding, sort of sucks back into itself and is feeling better. Oh, she healed him. All right. Bridget, you are up next. I am going to cast Bane at level two so I can create four people. I'm going to choose, obviously, the evil ones, the evil twins charisma saving throw they need to beat a 13 charisma saving throw need to beat a 13 okay uh the only one who does is dark bridget she's the only one that beat it mm -hmm. oh shit all right um whenever a target that fails this saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends the target must roll a d4 and subtract that number roll from the attack roll all right Sweet deal. Nice. Yes. Dave, hey, you were. Hey, 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 I've got a bonus action. Oh, all right. I'm going to cast. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, you b b make the keg over somebody's head or whatever. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Snedrick. All right. Okay. So until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. And on a failed save, Fraser must choose a new target or lose the attack roller spell. Well, thank you. That's you awesome. are oh, yeah. So many saving throws. Mm -hmm. right? And you're going to keep track of that. All right, yes, Dave, you are up. Okay. First of all, if I'm allowed to do both of these things, I'd like to start just by throwing a javelin to make a point. <laughs> Actually, you lost... Your javelin got burned up with the mask, so you no longer have a javelin. I'm looking at my stuff, and I have a javelin. No, you very specifically on audio were like, it, I'm okay with my javelin getting burned up. Also, so you Dave, don't have a javelin. This is not the time to fuck around. This also isn't spiteful, by the way. If you're wondering if this is spiteful because I was wrong about the javelin conversation we had earlier, <laughs> that's not what this is. Your javelin got burned up. There is audio of it. So whether or not my joy at this moment is irrelevant. Okay. You don't have a javelin. I, I'd like to start by announcing out loud that it's really easy to throw a javelin compared to most other objects. Would everybody agree? Speaking as a free action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. now that that's established, so. <laughs> I would like to take my turn. Um, feels like, I don't know. It feels the, like Dave and Dark Dave were just going to meet in the middle smooshing bread together. That's what <laughs> it feels like to me. Ooh, should I make bread? You guys think I should make bread? <laughs> no. I feel no. like that's what you were saying. No. Is anybody hungry? I mean, since I'm going to get outvoted, I... yes, but... <laughs> don't... Why? What? No. <laughs> Morgan's in a safe riding, so he's voting for bread. <laughs> he's going to summon Carl and get another vote out of him or something. <laughs> no, all right. Give him a wig. I'm... I'm... <laughs> Who should I hit most importantly in everybody's opinion? I'm going to do an Eldritch Blast, I think. Um, I think Dark uh, Dark Snedrick. Because, dark yeah. Snedrick. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, Claw Snedrick. was the one that was healed partially. Yeah. And yep. he's got some fuckers of spells. And, yeah. and I, think he, I, I think he's down to 20. Um, so a, a couple of good hits on him might take his ass out. Okay. Uh, my only other thought was that evil... Bridget can heal the other evils. Yes, but you sh you're going to take a lot of damage if you do that. Yeah. Oh, because of the secret bomb that it, you're holding or whatever, right? It's, it's going to take a while. It's not a secret. Done. I've used it in front of you multiple times. <laughs> I had, you don't remember book. what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> you <sing. laughs> All right, I'm doing Eldritch Blast at evil Snedrick. Nice. Roll that dice. 18 plus 6, 24. To hit. Fuck yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll, that'll hit him. Hit. Roll that damage for me. Niner plus four. 13 face. <laughs> 13 damage. Damn, that should have him down to about seven. If I'm keeping track correctly. So we could take him out potentially. I don't know where he is in the order. but 13 damage. Yeah, he is down. It's not looking good. All right, next up is... 
I'd like to do a bonus action. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I just have one. Whatever it is, I'm doing it. Making the magic rocks? Yep. Magic, magic stones. stones. Couple of stones at your feet become magic. All right. Dark Snedrick. Three. I wanted to do three. I get to choose one, two, or three. I'm three yeah. pebbles. You're going for the full threezer? Yep. Got it. Claw, Dark Snedrick, turns to you and waves his hands in your direction. Make a wisdom saving throw for me with advantage. 17 plus, I think plus zero. Yeah, plus zero. Nice. And again, because you have advantage. Oh, okay. Oh, a 17 again. <laughs> All right. There you go. Nothing happens. He just sort of looks disappointed. I think he was trying to <laughs> freeze you. <laughs> and Claw, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take out Snedrick with uh, an uh, would you would you like to specify which one? <laughs> <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> Keep in mind that you are engaged with Dark Claw because you punched him in the face. So if you try to <laughs> run over and fight Snedrick, you will take an attack of opportunity. Okay. I'll attack Dark Claw. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to do a quarter staff strike and then a flurry of blows, which should be two unarmed strikes, right? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Cool. So the quarter staff. Is 15 plus 6. That'll hit. The first... Man, I am rolling good. The first unarmed strike is 16 plus 6. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the third one is 3 plus 6. All right. So roll the quarterstaff damage and the unarmed strike damage for me. 5 plus 4. And 4 plus 4. Man, I am rolling really well. Ooh. Hot streak. Dark claw. Also not looking good. He's down to six. All right. So he should be slightly lower than Dark Snedrick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dark Dave, you can see the other mirror creatures speaking to him in that broken glass language, right? That crackling tone that they speak in. But Dark <laughs> Dave speaks back at them, right? Very quickly and then reaches inside <laughs> his cloak and pulls out... Get your bread table. A sesame seed hamburger bun. <laughs> <laughs> which he breaks into two pieces and waves in front of Claw, convinced that you'll be drawn into madness because you're a bird. And you, can just, you don't speak mirror person, but you can see him vehemently arguing with the other mirror people that this should, this should work and that it's stupid if it doesn't work. Yeah, I feel like if we're fighting ourselves, there should be more shenanigans. Yeah, on yeah, both yeah. sides. Do you see how stupid you look, Dave? <laughs> You're welcome. We're fighting me. You're welcome. I'm stupid then. <laughs> stupid comment. Bridget and Dark I'm Bridget dumb in your start face. shaking their fist at him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until evil me pulls out a blunderbuss and shoots himself in the foot. It's going to be awesome. I am starting to have a little bit of like respect for Mirror Bridget. <laughs> She's got a lot to deal with right now. <laughs> yeah. Everybody oh. be nice to her, okay? Do you have <laughs> Stockholm syndrome right now for a mirror version? <laughs> no, we'll gang up on her at the end. We'll, we'll take her out last. All right. Dark Claw is up next. Dark Claw is going to use a key point to Shit. disengage from you. Oh, okay. Ooh. Cool. I feel like Evil Dave would throw a javelin for no reason too <laughs> right now while well, at him yeah <laughs> then he runs over to you snedrick hey. and uses another key point Ooh. to attack you once with his staff and two times unarmed wait 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 but wait. but sanctuary and bane oh yeah wisdom throw right yes uh so wisdom throw for the sanctuary Okay. And I have shit wisdom too, so great. <laughs> Sixteen. And a charisma. Uh, that actually, that actually saves. Oh wait, he actually has to take roll a d four and take that off. Yeah, subtract okay. that. Yeah. Yes. So it's a sixteen minus two, so uh, fourteen. Uh, that does actually. He does get to do it. That beats it. Um, but he also for his attack roll, he also has to do a d four. Okay. So let me roll those attack rolls. That's three attack rolls. I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> so basically what's happening for those who are lost, Dark Claw disengaged, like back flipped backwards out of Claw's reach, 
ran over to Snedrick, and he's going to hit him once with his staff and then twice with his fists. So he is going to do five plus eight damage, 13 damage to you, Snedrick. Oh, shit. All right, that's all right. I'm not quite dead. Do we have any psychic connection with our evil twins? It's only one way to find out. Oh, God. <laughs> I figured I'd find out by asking the god of the universe who's doing this, but uh, <laughs> what do you think the way to find out is? Can I tell what number he's thinking of? You know, <laughs> I am a silent, me. unhelpful god. Snedrick, you are up. Already. All right. So I'm engaged now with Dark Claw. Yes. Who is almost dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Does anybody have really good passive wisdom perception, passive investigation, or passive insight just to like see if there's a secret? Wisdom, yeah. Perception and insight. Are, I have 11s for all of those. Do you have a b better than 15s? that? 15s. Nice. Yeah, just so perceive something or investigate. I, or that's an action though, so I'd rather use my actions for something. Is that useful. an action? It is not an action to do a perception check. Oh, no. I it thought. Well, then we should all do one. Oh yeah. my god! Fucking perception check right the fuck now. Although it's yeah, go ahead, do it. Three, nice. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Fifteen from Bridget is what happened. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Bridget, you're fighting mirror versions of yourself. I think we knew that. Yeah. Perception checks are not psychic powers. <laughs> Well, in I want then insight, 15 insight check. Insight would be like what someone is thinking and feeling. Investigation 15, investigation <laughs> check. There's, you yes, know. You're, you're thinking... You, <laughs> they came out of the mirror. The mirror Dave is thinking, I wonder, I wonder what they're thinking. <laughs> I want to know if there's a secret thing. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm aware you were just hoping you could roll all the checks that one makes in Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and I would be like if you poke Dark Claw in the butthole all of them explode <laughs> okay I feel like we just learned something <laughs> there's only we one did. way to know it's true Hey, everybody, just hopping in to thank you once again for listening to the show. We have so much fun making it, and we're glad that you all enjoy watching it. I've said that a million times, but I mean it every single time. First up, it's Matreon. Uh, so if you're a new listener or you're new to our shows once a year, or in this case, once every couple of years, we come to you hat in hand and ask that if you like the stuff that we make, then maybe consider tossing us a dollar or two uh maybe you like this show and you haven't signed up to support us on patreon it's only once a month so you can toss us a buck or two especially if cash is a little tight right now maybe you like our other shows but you haven't tossed us any money over there toss us a dollar or two it makes all the difference in the world by which i mean it's literally how we make our living so if people don't give us money at this time of the year we starve to death or worse, we get real jobs where we don't play Dungeons & Dragons for a living. And no, nobody wants that. You don't want me making your Starbucks for so many reasons. Just there's the amount of reasons you don't... I'm not going to get into it here, but just trust me, you don't want me to have a real job. But I know what you're thinking. Okay, Eli, that's good for you and your excellent wordplay of May and, and Patreon. But what's in it for me? Well... If you sign up to give us as little as a dollar over at Patreon.com, you get commercial-free versions of the show, so you don't have to listen to this part in the middle. And we do have some advertisers coming up, so if you want to avoid those ads, you can toss us a little bit of money. We've also got a couple of episode chunks up, which is where I've condensed the different arcs so far inside this plot into big, long episodes that you can just binge on your own without having to fiddle around with your podcast player or whatever the case may be and you get two dungeon masters corners that's me talking behind the scenes dungeon master tips tricks what it's like to create the show all sorts of fun stuff there and a short game we played the worst and the dimmest which hopefully we will have another episode coming out soon again people have been getting their teeth fixed and we've been uh, still having an infant but that may be coming to you soon so yeah uh, if you get the chance, toss us a couple of bucks. It's Matreon. Uh, we have fun goals this year for new and upgrading members. So, you know, you give enough money, enough of you, toss in. And 
we will change Heath's name to Keith Enright. And I know a bunch of the listeners of this podcast would love to see Heath suffer. So that's a great way to make it happen. All right. I've talked your ear off enough. You're in the middle of an adventure. I'm going to let you get back to it. Thank you so much for listening. Check us out on Patreon and all of our Patreons for all of our shows. Thanks so much. Bye. Quickly, I'm assuming that because like basically all my shit has like a cube emanating in front of me damage like am i in a position where i'd be able to do something like that without hitting my comrades here or are, are we yeah absolutely if... so many hit points don't even worry about it all right let's see so i'm gonna do my thunder wave here yeah so since you ran over to the side to do agonize our scorcher no one else even has to do a saving throw for that it's just dark claw who ran over to fight you so okay. dark claw is the one who's going to try and make the saving sure. throw there and he's guessed it his bane still works right him. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. For yeah. a whole minute, guys. Mm -hmm. Sweet deal. Six rounds. Okay. That is an 18 plus four. So 22 minus two. 20. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a save. So he'll take half the damage and not be pushed back. Mm hmm. All right. So I'm sorry. That's 3d8 because I'm casting it on the uh, second level, and that is 15 damage. All so right, so seven and a half. Eight damage for Claw. Dark Claw goes down, and Bridget takes eight damage. Oh, so it, does it always round up, or does it always round up on even numbers where the digit before it is even or odd? How does that work? I believe it just always rounds up. Yeah. All right, so... <laughs> that system. So now, but when I, when I attack, uh, when I do damage to... I, I probably shouldn't point this out. Dark Bridget, do I have to make a saving throw of some kind to keep a reciprocal damage from hitting me? I am glad you asked because yes, Snedrick, you do. You, her reaction, she uses Wrath of Storm. So you must make a dexterity saving throw, DC 13. So you're going to try and roll a dexterity saving throw. You're going to try and make 13. 17. Woo! It's 14 Woo. plus three. All right, so you dive out of the way. She blasts some mirror lightning at you, but it does not hit you. Mirror lightning is pretty awesome. Oh, wait, you t you take half damage on a success, so... Oh, okay, I'm dead then. Wait, oh, <laughs> let me, I don't know. I don't know what she did, what damage she does, but I'm probably... Let me dead. roll 2d8. Can we see those, please? Accidentally? Yes, you can. So that's uh, a <laughs> six, six damage. Okay, that will kill me. All right. You're not dead, though. You're just knocked out. Yeah. So Snedrick is down. Dark Bridget is right next to Claw. So she is going to reach down, touch him, and then she speaks a mirror language in his direction. And... I'd like to point out two things in my defense. The first is that before I made this attack, Eli assured me that only Dark Claw was there. Um, and the second <laughs> is that... Um, <laughs> As I was saying, hey, Dad, I took out the dark bird guy. I got the shit knocked out of me by <laughs> her mirror zapped lightning. zapped with lightning, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah but with magic, so yeah. maybe you brought him around. Well, yeah, right, right. It's maybe, <laughs> maybe he thinks I'm still standing there. You never know. And Dark Claw recovers. Sorry, I keep using the public rolls. Uh, 11 hit points, so he is up to 12 now. Wait, she, okay, so she doesn't really have any other action. No, not for that turn. All right. Oh, we forced Dark Bridget to do healing. We, we forced Dark Bridget to do healing instead of attack us. Good stuff. I'm glad y'all are having fun with this outcome. <laughs> I'm glad this is uh, working out for you guys. How are you talking? You're unconscious. <laughs> Question, if I very, if I like tried to flick real Bridget in, in the, the forehead, would that magic bomb thing go off at the bad guys? No, no, it would go off at you. It would go off at you. Okay. So you if I it. trick Evil Dave into trying to do that. <laughs> if if you can if you can trick him into doing the blunderbuss thing and like dive out of the way at the last second, get him to shoot her. I'm that I would that like would be, to probably do what you just said. He's gonna roll turn. for that. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. Oh no. No, no, no. Not Eli, did you name my blunderbuss over the last few weeks? Uh, maybe what, because it, why, it seems to be that? it seems to be named 
Exandria, the blunderbuss, which it didn't use. It just used to say blunderbuss. I was sure it was oh, going to be no. bitch tits. I was sure. No. I was, I, I was 100% yeah. sure. No, I, I, I wish I had done that. All right. Bridget's turn is over. Regular Bridget, your turn is up. All right. I'm going to spare the... Mm. <laughs> yeah, take your fucking time. No, I'm going to spare the dying <laughs> on... On Snedrick. Gonna mm-hmm. begrudgingly spare the dying. <laughs> <laughs> All like harumphy, like, all right, I'll fucking heal you. Fucking <laughs> Dumb dead. Whatever you have gnome. And Stupid. then as my bonus action, I would like to summon my spiritual weapon. Um, I don't know how much I heal yet, but just tell me what I heal and I think I got it. Uh one hit point. You're back up to one. Oh wow, that's great. That's awesome. And I am going to attack fake Snedrick with it. Fake Snedrick. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, he's almost dead. Good. Yeah. Yeah. For three damage. Oh, wait. Oh, six damage. What? Does it automatically hit? You don't have to make an attack roll? Oh, um, uh, maybe I do. One sec. Ooh, nat nice. 20. Nat 20. I, I have a feeling that hit. Oh. All right. Hit so hard. Six damage should do it, right? Well, that's 11 damage, yeah, right? Because it's, it's max damage. damage. Oh, right, that's right. That's 11 right. damage. And Dark Snedrick goes down. I'm going to feebly say, you got less hit points than me now. <laughs> 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 All right. Dark Snedrick is down. Next up is Dave. All right. So Dark Snedrick's down. That means the lowest left is Dark, Dark Claw. Claw. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Dark whose Claw. whose turn is it next from the bad guy team? Well, basically, Dark Claw, Dark Dave. They both have yet to go, so it's either Dark Do- Claw or Dark Dave. Say so definitely go for Dark Claw because if you can knock out Dark Claw, then we're also Dark Dave is just holding bread for no reason. <laughs> so like, I'm definitely not attacking him. He might shoot himself in the dick with a blunderbuss. <laughs> yeah, there's a know. really it's... good shot of that. So, <laughs> okay, hundred percent. I'm gonna. Go after Dark Claw, and it feels... I don't know. I <laughs> I don't want to do it, but my definite best thing is Eldritch Blast and the, the other... St- and it's a cantrip, so I should just do it do again, it. right? Do it. He's got yeah. well, 11 so, hit points. Yeah, you but two spell slots. Just don't do something that is dexterity saving throw. Uh, I don't oh, think... Call. That's not. It's not. It's though. not. Cool. The, then, this yeah, is not. This it. just, like, hits it's somebody. A, it's an attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just cool. like a straight I just up, wanted to make sure. Just straight up cantrip again. Going for it. Eldritch Blasting Evil Claw. I'll roll that oh, dice yeah. for me. That's a 16 to hit. Yep. Should be good. I should do it. And that's going to be five damage. Five damage. Uh, cool. Cool. He's got six Not left. Enough. Yeah. I want to cast it at a higher level. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Claw can take him out. Okie dokie. Dark Snedrick is up next, but he is asleep on the ground. <laughs> Claw, you are up next. Cool. There are pebbles available, just so everybody knows. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm going to do uh, unarmed strike and then bonus unarmed strike on Dark Claw. Nice. Uh, that is an 11 plus 6. No. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. And a 12 plus 6. Those will both hit. Uh, 2 plus 4 and 1 plus 4. Yeah, that'll do it. Dark Claw goes down. Fuck yeah. All right. Dave of House Darkermore looks around, and again, more of that mirror talk. He gestures at the bread very enthusiastically. They very clearly point that Normal Claw has just beaten Mirror Claw down unconscious. And I'd like to taunt Dark Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you couldn't even make a different type of bread. I bet like you couldn't even do it. I'm going to ask for the bread. Can I have the bread? <laughs> I want some bread. You make me some bread. Uh, Dark Dave stares at you for a while. He is very taken in by that ruse. <laughs> oh my god! Once this one gave me some garlic bread. It was. Mwah, oh, do you remember how good that so was? Good. It was really that good was garlic so bread. Good. I remember you it saying was that great specifically. Garlic bread. Yeah, but he cast a spell at you instead. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Fun. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, sixteen. That'll do it. Whoa, fun. He sees that the spell fails and then like weakly aims the bread at you to see if like 
offering you the bread would make the spell work. And then he looks dejected and he crosses his arms for a while and stares up at the sky like he's talking to himself or maybe some spectral being that helps him through his adventures. And then he makes three magic stones at his feet and vehemently <laughs> points at them. <laughs> vehemently points at them. Don't you have a blunderbuss, too? <laughs> he, he looks very sad that he forgot about his blunderbuss. <laughs> All right, Dark Claw's up next, but he is asleep. Snedrick, you are up. You are conscious. You are lying on the ground, and you have one hit point. Yes, I do. I got to look heroic in front of the ladies. I am going to... I'm going to release my ass wolves. Yes. Yes. Wow. Nothing looks better in front of the ladies. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Dad, yeah. dad, look at my ass wolves. I'm really good at so I got a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that would be the greatest thing. Me laying on the ground and they're like, oh damn, the gnome got knocked out and suddenly I shit out two wolves. <laughs> yeah. Well, you you get to roll and see how many wolves you shit out. Oh, is that it? Uh one Woo. D four. <laughs> Of wolves. Um, it's pretty funny if it's zero, because then it's like, <laughs> ass wolves! Go oh, shit. <laughs> Dad? You can't roll a zero, though. Three plus one. Nice. So I have four. Four ass wolves. <laughs> four ass wolves. All hey. right. Do the dark versions have our tattoos? You don't know. Okay. I really hope we find more ass wolves. Okay. One second. I need to add four... Wolves to this fight. <laughs> you know why? Because Eli, because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I have no All idea right. what the wolves do, and it doesn't say anything on this about <laughs> how they attack or what their wolf roles would be or, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. What die do you roll for the wolves? While this is happening, I'd like to psych up the crowd. <laughs> oh, nice. I do a bunch of hype man stuff. Behind, yeah, my wolves need sure. behind Snedrick as he summons the wolves. I floss a little bit. And everybody's got to be going like, all right, three I could see, but there can't possibly. Four? No shit. Wow. Just wow. That's right. Four wolves. Four. Everybody chant four wolves. Four. When I say four, you say wolves. <laughs> <laughs> four. Nope. Really, nobody? <laughs> no, I, you guys are assholes. <laughs> do they come out one by one, or do they like come out four at a time? Oh, wow, that's a great question. That's a great question. Like, do you shit out one, and then everybody's like, is there going to be a second one? Did I like, shit out ass shitting? wolves just yesterday? I feel like I shit out <laughs> ass wolves yesterday, too. I don't know. I don't want to be a one-trick pony here. but Okay, so, Snedrick, you have gone. Now, the first wolf under your command will now do whatever you want it to do. All right, all my wolves are attacking Dark Dave. Dark Dave? I'd go all maybe right. Dark Bridget, because Dark Dave is an idiot, and he's going to, like, shoot. <laughs> he's totally not going to help they, next time, either. It's my guess. I'm just saying, I could just keep waking you up after every time you do that. Every time you she your uh, the wrath of storm gets you. Well, but we could also get through her wrath of storms with two wolves, right? Well, right, right. That's Ooh. that's true, right? That the attack would go against the wolf, not against us. Yeah, it would knock out Whoa. the wraths, and you'd still have two wolf attacks potentially, <gasps> and yeah. she'd be done with those. Oh, I yeah. love that. I Good love call. That. So yeah, all right, we're gonna attack. We're gonna attack uh, Dark Bridget with it instead. Dark Bridget. All right. If she heals Dark Snedrick, we are. Shutting that shite down. She vaults this wolf. Just like it comes diving at her and she just vaults over it and lands in a badass uh, battle pose know, behind does it. Have Bane, right? Yeah, she still vaults the fuck out of this wolf. <laughs> she vaults minus four, just for the record. Yeah. Okay. Dark Bridget is up next. She doesn't quite stick the lane. Right. She <laughs> lands a little wobbly. <laughs> she looks around and she kneels down. And touches, wakes up Dark Snedrick and rolls to heal him. Anna, how many times can you do the resurrection thing? Three. Um, uh, unlimited. Oh, oh okay. fuck. I thought you said that. Yeah. How many All times right. can you heal? It depends on how many other spells I do, but up to seven times. Oh, shit. Okay. Jesus. All right. So. Uh, Dark Snedrick is looking better, but that is her turn. Damn it, he figured out how to do private roles again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bridget, you are up next. I'm going to 
shatter. How many of them can I get in ten a ten foot radius? All of them. All of them. I'm gonna shatter them. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, uh, Constitution saving throws. Constitution right? Constitution saving throws. They have to win a win a thirteen. Okay. And they all have to do the the bane minus well. four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, none and of them make it. I'm- oh, okay. Never mind. Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna cast that another, and another, roll that. Nice. Roll that damage. That's 19. Oh, Blam, 19. Shit. Is that for all of them? I believe yep. so. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> yep, exactly. I <laughs> also agree. Yep, yep, yep. We yep, got three wrong. votes. Three votes. Democracy sets. <laughs> okay. A creature takes 3d8 thunder damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. Ooh, and you know what? Even if the, none of them saved, but they are made of inorganic material, such as stone, oh, crystal, or uh, metal. Sure inorganic material. So <laughs> they, they would have had disadvantage, but it doesn't matter. Been. So all right, cool. what is that? 19 damage to all of them, right? Yep, that's all of them. All right, let me go down the line. Doing so some damage. What did you just do? That's like the best spell we've ever had. Why don't <laughs> yeah, you just right? always do that? I all gonna, right. Well, you guys are always in the way. Or <laughs> right? fucking hurting yourselves, and I have to fucking... He yeah, there's a lot of that. There's let me die from now on. Just we, every time, just let me lay you know, there unconscious. Dave, you know, Dave, I might, I might do that. So if I can paint a picture for you, Dark Bridget vaults over this wolf, lands in a badass pose, mutters some mirror magic over Dark Snedrick, and then Bridget immediately blasts him into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Bridget is sort of gingerly kicking at the shards of Dark Snedrick. <laughs> well, looking wait. pretty mad so about it. Dark Bridget, do I need to do a... a um... Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Wrath of Storm All right. saving throw. I can do, wait, does do because I have Wrath of Storm? If she hits you, then she'll have to does do Wrath she, of Storm. No, so. it's not an attack. It's a reaction. Oh, God Man, damn it. Yeah. Oh, well done. That well done, Ian. They just That's do it for in, in added Yeah, it just goes back and forth until they're out. <laughs> We're sitting here an hour later, like, who cares? What, what is it? De- well, huh? I'm look, looking one second. I think it's dexterity. Yeah, Wrath of Storm. Dex, yes. Right, here we go. Beep. <laughs> 16. Save uh-huh. that'll that'll save. It will. So you take half the damage, right? I do. So she's got one left. Yes. Mm-hmm. How much do I do? Five damage. All right. Bridget. Excellent. Claw, you are up. Okay. Uh I'm going to uh I'm gonna use a key point and unarmed strike and flurry of blows, Dave. Nice. Roll those uh hit dice for me. Ten plus six. That'll hit. 13 plus 6. That'll hit. Ooh, and 3 plus 6. Nice. Roll those damage. That third one did not hit, right? Yes, it did. Oh, it did? Nice. Uh, oh, no, it, no, it did not. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Just the two. Nice. <laughs> Still nice. <laughs> 4 plus 4. Uh-huh. And Dark Dave goes down. Cool. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> all right. Dave, all the enemies stand before you defeated, except for Dark Bridget. And Dark Bridget is looking rough. Okay. Is, and it's my turn, or are you just telling me that? <laughs> it is your yes, turn. It is your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, so Dark Bridget has 24 hit points, we think, right? No. You said she's looking rough. Uh, just, there's nothing, no one else to fight, Dave. She's less than or equal to 24, I guess, yeah. I'm going to do a... Witch Bolt level the highest that I'm allowed to. Nice. Whatever that is. At Mm -hmm. Evil Bridget. Evil Bridget. Roll that attack for me. All right. So I roll this to hit. That's a 12 to hit. I think that misses. No, it doesn't. It does. (laughs) Yeah, that misses. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. (laughs) I'm going to do Scorching Ray. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) You are absolutely not. I'm going to run slightly faster than the speed of light. I'm going to back up to before I did that. Wait, isn't it 12? Isn't it 12 plus something? Yes, four plus four. Yep. No, because (laughs) that still doesn't beat a 17. Oh, five, four, five. (laughs) 
plus plus five plus four. No, it's plus no. six. Yeah. <laughs> right? No. Spell attack plus six. Yeah. Uh, you you roll the six and it says plus six. Would, yeah. Bridget, you will you please? Plus please, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So you roll the 12, you don't hit. God damn it. Peanut gallery? God damn it. <laughs> Next up, two Nork wolves. on me to God about my roll. <laughs> God damn it. Two wolves are under your control, Snedrick. One Telling right after the other. Here. What yep. would you like them to do? I, the fucking hokey poke. I think I want them to attack Dark Bridget. <laughs> All right. I didn't just want to be like, and then the wolves jump at Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> Not nice to you. Can the wolves create Put other the wolves? one paw in. You take the <laughs> Can one the paw. Can the wolves shit out other wolves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. All right. I, mean, like, I have size. to keep them summoned for quite a while for that to happen. <laughs> All right. It, it feels problematic that we'd have to tattoo the ass of these wolves, but that would <laughs> technically do that, right? They come out uh, half the size. Yeah. <laughs> so one wolf is going to hit. Uh, the other one is going to miss terribly. It's actually, you can recognize it as the wolf that got drunk the first time when you were fighting the goblins. <laughs> yep. Yep. And he just sort of jumps in the wrong direction. He's still drunk. No one really wants to mention it. The other wolves kind of look embarrassed by it, but... um. <laughs> It is going to do... We've given a wolf a drinking problem. Well, yeah. they, they spent a lot of time in my ass. I mean, I mean come on. Like, what are you going to do? All right. Three are coping. One is not. Yeah. Okay. And Dark Snedrick no longer exists. Dark Claw no longer exists. Dark Dave Wait, stares. So, um, sorry. Oh, Dark Dave's gone, too. <laughs> sorry. Yep. Dark Dave is also gone. But but also, like, doesn't the... what You said one of the wolves hits Dark Bridget, right? Yeah. So does she use her wrath of storm, her final wrath of storm against that wolf? She does not know. No. But next up is your fourth wolf because I forgot that Snedrick, Dark Snedrick, Dark Bird, and Dark Dave are all dead. So your fourth wolf also attacks. <laughs> Let's see how that one does. That one will hit. Takes a big old chomp out of Dark Bridget. She is looking rough. She is barely standing on her feet, but she is still alive. So she's probably under five. Oh, somebody, somebody use the pebble. It'll be funny. Just like you finish it off. Use <laughs> it's the, pebble. the first wolf's turn again. So the first wolf that she vaulted the first time <laughs> is going to make an attack. Yeah, that wolf misses. Okay, now, Snedrick, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. So just... Just for a mental picture, again, four wolves jumping in. One of them gets a chomp on her. That's no, that's gonna look that's gonna look good. It's gonna look like the other ones were intentionally misdirecting. Yeah, yeah exactly. You could, yeah, they were, they were. you could gain the glory. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I wanna I like I wanna finish off in style. So I'm gonna pull out the one to seven parts since you know, like yeah. that's what we're trying to get. Um Fuck and I'm yeah. I'm going to throw down Snillix Snowball Swarm. A flurry of magic snowballs erupt from a point you choose. I'm going to put, like, right underneath her ass. Um, <laughs> each creature in a five-foot radius, so obviously just, like, you know, just where she would be there, must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 cold damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful. All right. What's this? This is awesome. Right. That's going to be a six. That will not save. Roll that damage. Eight. Eight. That'll do it. Dark yeah. Bridget, a yeah. hail of snowballs comes up and Dark Bridget shatters <laughs> into dust. Fuck yeah. I love that it was a snowball fight finish. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and my wolves that did the last damage before that. And then I'm going to just kind of pass out, you know, because I yeah. want to milk this a little bit. You know, I, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm at one hit point. Like, let the hometown crowd wonder if I made it, you know. <laughs> As the final mirror version of yourselves dissolves into silvery shards of glass, before the crowd can burst into a round of well-deserved applause, a beast Slutsky is up on his feet, frothing at the mouth with anger. I punch him. No. Okay. I'm going to veto <laughs> that punch because I realized that by allowing you to punch in the middle of the thing, I will never create a moment again in our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be a series of people being like, hello, I'm the innkeeper at such and, and such an inn. If I punch him, <laughs> punch him, punch him. <laughs> and he yells, go on. No, it's impossible. <laughs> I won't allow it. I can't allow it. And Holly says from her throne, I'm afraid it's no longer up to you, High Prefect, though. I think after the assassination attempt and the misuse of campus property, 
junior prefect from now on is more fitting. And as she says that, a beast screams, no, and violently waves his arm in her direction. A powerful gust of wind slams the unsuspecting Holly backwards into her own invention, the refrigerator, and the door slams shut. A beach turns to you all menacingly and says, none of you are leaving here with that locket. None of you are leaving here alive. And I'm going to make sure of that myself. A few gnomes in the crowd rise to their feet, but you notice the school guards have risen to their feet as well and menacingly draw weapons and wands to keep the crowd at bay. A beach slowly walks towards you and draws his wand, saying, You parade in here with your band of freaks, bringing outsiders into this school, showing them our secrets, letting them sleep in our beds, eat our food. Gnomes like you and Holly have always disgusted me. I mean, why do you think I ratted you out way back when we were in school together? You are trash and you will always wham! Before Abish can finish his insult, the solid steel door goes flying off the front of the refrigerator, crushing several of Abish's guards and a glowing, fully empowered Holly Crinkles, wielding her hammer of judgment, levitates out from inside and says... I fucking hate that trope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got fridged. I see what you did. I see what you did. Oh my god. <laughs> Eli, you don't you can't see me because we're not on video, but I'm bowing to you on that one. That was, that was well fucking done, sir. <laughs> The guards, realizing the larger threat, circle Holly a dozen to one, but she just smiles and says, oh, this is going to be fun. Snandrick, I'll handle these boys. Do you think you can take a bitch? And then she turns to you, Dave, and says, that's why I set it up. Proceeding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.